Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert. Welcome to this tutorial about the rather beautiful sounding Eden WT800 bass amp simulation by Softube and Universal Audio. Now recently I've been working with a bass player friend of mine, Ben Hearn, who you may have seen on some other videos, and the bass sound was good, it was fat, it was full, but it wasn't giving me that kind of... I suppose it wasn't rooting the track, it wasn't giving me that big fat bottom end which you'd expect from a bass amp. Now the truth of the matter is, in recording, most of the time we just take the DI. So what I did to Ben's recordings, and what I'm going to show you now, is how I used the WT800 to really get that kind of real amp sound. So one of the nice things about the WT800 is it's very, very simple to use. We have an input section, input gain, the enhance feature, our EQ and compression section, and a master section. Now what's really cool, of course, is we can dig in and get onto the cabinet section. So we have a 1x15 and 4x10, and of course we have the amp DI. Now let me play this back for you first, in bypass. <laughs> Now this time, I will start the take, and then I'll come out of bypass, and you can hear just how the amp sounds in its default mode, kind of everything at 12 o'clock. Now instantly, it sounds more bass amp-like, which is kind of cool, really, because that's what it's supposed to sound. So what I'm going to do is dial in a few bits and pieces to get me going and get a really nice kind of fat bass sound. Not too much compressor. Now that's a great bass sound in its own right, but what we can do with the WT800 simulation is get in to the two different cabinets, the 1x15 and 4x10, and of course the direct DI signal, and really start to mess with it. We've got four different microphones, and we can switch those cabinets in or out and phase invert them if we really want to get technical. So let's start off with just the 4 by 10 and the DI. Yeah, I really like that. I've gone for the RE20 microphone on the 1x15, the Royer ribbon mic on the 4x10, actually in the kind of the horn in the middle, and we're using a little bit of the DI just to bring out some of the articulation, but the actual speaker cabinets are where we're getting most of that sound from. So I'll give you a before and after. <laughs> Very, very cool. I like that very much. So this next track is very, very different. If I bypass it, you'll hear exactly what Ben's doing. We've already put some effects in the um, form of an octava and some compression and a bit more grunt into the sound. <laughs> Now 
Now again, if I run this through the WT800, I'm gonna get a more bass amp type tone. So this is what we're gonna get. Now that's a great place to start if you're me, uh, but now let's get down and dirty and really enhance that kind of almost synth bass sound. Oh, I love that, that sounded really cool. Right, let's go into the cabinets. And I know I'm gonna want lots of that kind of real big fat 15 sound. AKG D112 is one of our options, but hey, it's a bass drum mic. Who says it can't be used on bass cabinets? Let's have a mess with that. So before, I really like what this thing does. It's so simple, it's so quick to use, and let's face it, in this world of deadlines and just trying to get the track to sound right and to sound fat and to sit and to groove, tools like the WT800, where it's simple and quick, are your friend. Um, this thing sounds great. It's gonna be appearing on a lot more of my tracks and a lot more of my videos. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name's James Ivey, and I will see you again soon for some more Gear Talk.